Yo, what's up? We are now sitting in a Nissan Leaf 62 kilowatt hour. And in this video, I'm gonna test if B mode will consume more energy than D mode. What is the difference between these two modes? When you put the car in drive, it will default to the D, the drive mode. But then if you tap it again on the gear stock, you can enable B mode. And B mode will uh, allow you to, if you let off the pedal, you will get more regen than in D mode. D mode is more coasting mode. And many people, they claim that, yes, um, D mode is more efficient. I agree, D mode is more efficient as long as you can coast, but on a highway like this, it makes no difference. That is my claim. So I'm gonna test for myself to see if that is true or not. So, of course, I suspect that in the city, yes, in the city, D mode, if you can coast, D mode would be more efficient, but on highways like this, where it's mostly flat, straight roads, big roads, then it shouldn't matter. So, um, yes, I'm gonna do the final preparations, and then I will start from down there. We are at Espa right now. See, we are here, and the plan is to drive north. Wait, Mjösa. There's an error in the map here, it's Mjösen. Okay, anyway, wait, no, 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 back, 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 okay. So the plan is that we will just drive north to an intersection and back again. And then we see what the consumption is. Okay, we're on the move. Uh, the truck in front uh, might interfere with our test, but I chose to cruise at 95 kilometers per hour to avoid, uh, well, getting stuck behind left lane huggers. But then um, trucks might be a problem, we'll see. 95 here is 90 GPS speed. Yeah, let's see. Uh, if you go uphill, I can overtake the truck. Okay, we are now at Tongan. Let's turn around here. So that means it's going to be uh, about 18 kilometers total. Yeah, this is a good turnaround point. Round one, 203. Round two, D mode on. Uh, 200, okay, let's do another round. Round three with B mode, 198. Okay, let's do one more test then with D mode. Round four in D mode, uh, 198. <laughs> so as you see from the salt, there's almost no difference between B mode and D mode. The only thing is that the first run, the consumption was a little bit higher. And my explanation is that the car has been sitting over an hour charging in the cold weather. And I think the motor, gearbox, everything cooled down. And also the tires will chill down. So once we started driving, everything heats up, the tires heat up, the, the air uh, tire pressure increases, which decreases rolling resistance slightly and maybe some, some friction in the motor, I don't know. So that is the explanation why uh, the tests further out were slightly more efficient than the first one. But, uh, you know, now we see that there is no difference between D mode and B mode. And why did I make this video in the first place? Well, because every time, or man, not every time, but many, many times when I make range tests around here on the highway, which is very flat, people uh, claim that well, actually, some people also complain that, ah, Bjorn, I see that you've been using B mode, but you know, B mode is more, uh, is less efficient than D mode. Yeah, you have to use D mode. You have to redo the test in D mode. No, but that's, this test proves that, well, at least, well, no, okay, not proves, but it, according to this test, I claim that D mode, B mode, is the same and you have to understand what is the difference between these two modes well b mode enables more region but we are not utilizing that region actually the difference is that when when you're in d mode if you let off the pedal you will only get some region but most cars like this one has blending brakes so if you push the brake pedal gently you will activate more region and then in d mode well in b mode then when you let off the pedal, you will activate more region by default. And then what can you do then to have less region? Pro tip, you can gently push the accelerate the pedal. Then you, de then you reduce the amount of region. So I prefer using B mode because by default, you will have more that sim simulates uh, or something that is closer to one pedal driving. You only use the, the, the throttle to adjust the region or the power output. And in my opinion, that is more intuitive than having to use two pedals. Yeah, 
so I guess it's just a matter of taste. So yeah, uh, hopefully we can uh, now uh, avoid people bugging me about D mode, B mode. And also uh, this video is also to teach you that don't listen to random people's claims. Test yourself like I did here. Do a proper test, A, B, A, come back to the starting point, know about uh, the conditions, and then you see, and then we figure out if it's true or not. Yeah. So the next person who bugs me or complain about me using B mode again, they're gonna be ban, B for ban, permanently. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.